Okay, hi grade tens. This is the third lesson of unit seven, and this will be the third and final method I teach you of how to solve a system. So just a little recap, a system of linear equations is imagine if we were to draw two equations on a graph where they cross at that point is the solution. So method number one, lesson number one was actually graphing them out, seeing where they cross and, and writing that point down. Method number two, was called substitution and that's what we did in lesson two there was three steps involved and then lesson three is elimination or I also like calling it the stacking method and you'll and I'll explain why so this sheet right here there's 12 questions this is your these are your notes and your assignment so I'll do a few examples and then the ones that are remaining are the ones you can practice on and the solutions are on the side here so I'll start with the first one here and I'll zoom in so as you know, a system of linear equations is always two equations. So there we go. We have one and two. I like to call this actually the stacking method because if we look here, we have X's stacked on top of each other, Y's stacked on top of each other, and then the numbers stacked on top of each other at the end. Okay, so the equations are stacked nicely. The reason why it's called elimination, though, is because our first step is going to be to eliminate a variable altogether and eliminating a variable a variable means making it go to zero so if I look here with my X's this is a negative 4 and this is a positive 4 well what do negative 4 and positive 4 make negative 4 plus 4 makes 0 so I'm just saying that if we added them together negative 4 plus 4 becomes 0 and there you go, I've eliminated one of my variables. So what I do is I write my plus sign down because if I plus these two together, I have to be fair and plus the other guys together as well. So just like in grade three math, where you would have something like this, remember this? You had the numbers stacked on top of each other, you had the plus sign out here, you had the equals two sign, and it equals seven, right? It's the same thing here. Negative 4 plus 4x is 0x. Negative 2 plus a positive 8, so just negative 2 plus 8. Well, negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6y. And then be careful here because it's negative 24 plus negative, sorry, sorry, negative 12 plus negative 24. That's really what we're doing. So really it's like saying negative 12 minus 24, right? Because a positive and negative is still just a negative. So negative 12 take away 24 is negative 36. And this zero X, we can just forget about it. So I really have six Y equaling negative 36. And I can easily just solve for Y here if I divide off the six, right? Then Y is isolated. I have to be fair and divide by six on that side y equals negative 36 divided by 6 is negative 6. So I've already found, if you look over here in my solutions, I've already found my y value of negative 6. Now we have to always find the other value, which in this case is x. So what I do is, I, all I do is I take what I found for y and I plug it into either equation and solve for x. Okay, so I'll plug it into number 1. It's just negative 4 x minus 2y, but I know y is minus 6, equals negative 12. So I have negative 4x plus 12 equals negative 12. I just multiplied negative 2 and negative 6 together. If I'm trying to solve for x, I need to get rid of this 12 here, so I'm going to minus it off to both sides. I have negative 4x all by itself on the left equaling negative 24 on the right. And then I divide each side by negative 4, so that x is all by itself. Negative 24 divided by negative 4 is positive 6. And there you go. That's how I got 6 and negative 6 as my answer. Okay, x is 6, y is negative 6. So we always write it in the form of the coordinate point. There we go. Okay. I'll do another one for you. This time I'll do one where we have to eliminate the y's. I'll do number five. Okay, 
So in number five here, they're stacked x, x, y, y, number, number, constant, constant, okay? And if I look at the y's, they have the same number out front, nine and nine. And we know that we could, you know, make nine and nine go to nine and nine go to zero if we subtracted them, right? But you just have to be really, really careful here. Because in the first example, I plussed them, right? If I were to plus these guys, it would be negative nine plus negative nine. Well, negative nine plus negative nine is actually negative 18 and we didn't eliminate anything at all. So when that happens, we're going to minus them instead because look what happens. If I have negative nine and then I minus another negative nine, these two negatives make a positive. So it's actually negative nine plus nine and that's how it becomes zero. So when the symbols are the same, now listen closely, when the symbols are the same, you minus them. When the symbols are already opposites, you can just add them. It's a little trick. Okay. But be careful because when you're minusing these two guys, you have to be fair and minus everything else as well. So this is actually negative two minus negative four. So just like here, these two minuses will become a plus. So it's actually negative two plus four, which is two X. We already talked about how this would become zero. So I'm not even gonna write the Y. We know it goes away. And then negative 25 minus negative 23. So again, just like here and with the X's, this negative and this negative would actually become positive. So it's a negative 25 plus 23 and negative 25 plus 23 is negative two. And I can easily solve for X by dividing off that two and X equals minus one. So I have found my X value. The next step is to take your X value, plug it into either one of the equations up there to solve for Y. Okay, so I'll plug it into the first one. So it's negative two X, but I know X is minus one, minus nine Y equals negative 25. And I just go ahead and simplify. Negative two times negative one is two, minus nine Y equals negative 25. I wanna work on getting Y all by itself, so I'm gonna take away that two so that that's gone. I have negative nine Y equaling negative 25, take away two more is now negative 27. I divide negative nine on both sides. So I'll write that in. Negative 27 divided by negative nine will be a positive three. So I have X minus one, Y equals three. So my point is minus one, three. Let's go over here. Did we get it right for number five? Negative one and three, we did. Okay, I'm going to do one more and I'm gonna do a trickier one. I'll do number 12, last but not least. Now here's the problem for number 12. They're stacked nicely, but none of the numbers are the same out front. So my X numbers aren't the same. I could never get a zero from seven and two. They could never cancel each other out. Same with the Y's, cause that's a one, that's a three, okay? I have to make these somehow the same number. So you have some options. If you wanted to get rid of your X's first, you can make these both 14. The way you make them both 14 is you times this guy by two and this guy by seven. Then they're both 14s and we can for sure cancel them out. But just be careful if you do that. If you times him by two, you have to times him by two and him by two. Same thing here. If you times him by seven, you have to times her by seven and her by seven. So make sure you do it to everything. Another option is if this is already a three and that's a one, well, I can just times that by three and then I wouldn't have to touch this equation at all because it's already a three. So I'm gonna go ahead with that method. And remember, if you decide to times one term by three, you have to be fair and times them all by three. So this equation becomes negative 21 X plus three Y equals 19 times three is negative 57. And then this one below didn't change, right? So I recopy it. So now they're still nicely stacked, and now I have the same number out front with the Y's. 
Now, the little trick I told you was, if the symbols are the same of the two you wanna cancel, if the symbols are the same, we minus the equation. So I'm gonna put a big fat minus right here, draw my line. So be careful because, sorry guys, be careful because it's negative 21 minus an already negative two. So it's really like saying negative 21 plus two, and that's negative 19 X. Remember positive three minus positive three is zero. That's the, that's the point, we eliminated Y, so we want it to be zero. Now be very careful here, negative 57 minus negative 19. If you're not sure, just use your calculator. I'm gonna use my calculator here. So I'm gonna go negative 57, okay? So I get negative 57, then I have to do the minus, and then I have another negative 19. There you go, negative 38. Calculators are our friends. Now to get x all by itself, I divide off that negative 19 and I get x equaling, well two negatives makes a positive for sure, 38 divided by negative 19 is two. Okay, I'm kind of running out of room here so I'm going to work over on the left here. So now that I know that x equals two, I'm gonna plug that into either equation here to solve for y. Just some tricks here, I'm going to plug it into the first one because I know if I'm trying to solve y, all I'd have to do here is send this over to the other side and y is already isolated. I wouldn't have to divide anything off because it's just a one, okay? So I'm gonna plug it into the first one. So negative seven x, x is two, and then recopy plus y equals negative 19. So I actually have negative 14 plus y equals negative 19. So all I have to do now to isolate y is add that 14 to both sides and I have y equaling negative 19 plus 14 is negative 